This video is a basic instructional on how to find molality. It is a form of concentration similar to molarity, but the units of molarity are in terms of moles of solute divided by kilograms of solvent. And so in order to properly use the molarity concept in problems, you will have to have a bit of flexibility in your unit conversions. Specifically, for your solute, you'll need to be able to convert grams into moles. Uh, you may also be required to take concentration in molarity. I did not just write that incorrectly. Oh, molarity. Damn it. I hate it when I do that to myself. Okay. This instructional video is designed to show you how to use the concept of molality. Molality is very similar to molarity in that it is a unit of concentration. However, the units of molality are in terms of the moles of solute versus kilograms of solvent. And because of this difference, some of the things that you'll need to be able to do in terms of units are identical, but others are not. And so the flexibility you need then is to be able to convert solute in mass to moles. You'll also need to be able to convert your solute from units of molarity into moles. And you may have gas data such as pressure, volume, or temperature and be able to convert that into moles as well. For the solvent, because it's in kilograms, it becomes important to be able to go from, of course, grams to kilograms. But, more importantly, from moles to your kilograms, as well as from units of density into kilograms. Now, there are any of a number of other units you may have, but these are the ones that are most consistently used. And so if we look at the conversion and what data is needed, this can be a handy way to help solve those tricky word problems. So if you need to go from grams to moles, molarity to moles, PVT data to moles, and then your solvent conversion, moles to masses, or density to masses, then there are things that you're going to need. So from grams to moles, you'll need the chemical formula. For molarity to moles, you'll need the volume of solution. For PVT data to moles, you'll need to have a way to get all three. Plus the uh, ideal gas constant. Moles to kilograms is the same as before chemical formula. And finally, density to kilograms, you'll need a volume. And so, with this information and this sort of conceptual approach, it becomes straightforward to do all of the kinds of conversions necessary, uh, taking those out of your bag of tricks and find molality instead of our usual work done in molarity. 